Hi, I'm Marie Overton from Overton Fancies, and today I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet in the chain. Um, this is something that I have you do uh, pretty frequently in my patterns, and it's a situation kind of like this where you've been you've been crocheting the whole direction or the whole round in a lot of instances, and then you go ahead and I have you do some partial rounds, just building the one side versus the other. This does a really good job of, of helping turn a corner, so I, I use this technique a lot. So generally speaking, at the end of this, um, that segment, I'll have you do half double crochets, and then I'll have you go in and do two single crochets. Sometimes I use different numbers. And then at that point, that's where you're supposed to go into the chain. So below you would have done a, um, a slip stitch and then a chain and turn and skip the slip stitch. So for for that, you need to find that chain. And it's actually just right here. You can kind of tell because you see where you're at there. You see where you want to be next here because there's your next free one. So you're going to be right in the middle of it. So you just go ahead and look there and get right around that chain or one side of it. And you go ahead and pull through. If you're gonna do a slip stitch, you go ahead and just do a slip stitch there. Otherwise, generally speaking, at the end of this section, I'll have you do a single crochet. And then I just have you continue to work in that lower segment. And you can see how it does such a good job transitioning from your little wedge part here back into just a straight line. So if you have any questions, go ahead and message me either below or on Etsy.